own word. Mm. Mm. You see, when you're out in that world, and the world is hard, we couldn't wait to get to the mosque. Because the temple or the mosque was so different from the world. It was yeah. where we as brothers met. It was where the sisters met. It was where we found that love and that protection in the unity that we couldn't find in the street. In the old days, brother, you couldn't come to the mosque with a frown. You come to the door with a frown. They may look at you and say, Ma! Right, right. What the hell is wrong with you? Right. Is Allah God? Is Muhammad his messenger? Yeah. Or what the hell are you frowning oh, oh, oh. They may do that. The brothers were beautiful. And we were fierce. The concrete was scared. When we walked on it, it... it that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right, brother. Muslims were fearless. And Yusuf was our leader. And I went to Boston and I was to be the minister in Boston. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, No, not yet. Don't make him a minister. Try him under. And if he works well under, then he can go over. So they made me a captain. And all my military experience under Yusuf Shah, well, we had one of the finest mosques in North America, right up there in Boston. The most loving mosque. One of the most progressive mosques. No, the messenger said this. I'm not saying this because I went there. The only Elijah Muhammad said this of the mosque. There was more love and brotherhood in that mosque than at number two. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a fact. Oh, yeah. We were in a little fish house, and soon we moved out of the fish house and got our own place. We were the first believers on the East Coast after Atlantic City, New Jersey, to own our own building. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. And then time and circumstances will bring about the separation between Malcolm X hmm. and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and his subsequent deviation from the teachings. Hmm. And Yusuf, of course, was the strong man of Mosque Number Seven to try and hold the mosque together. Right. The night that Malcolm was assassinated, the mosque that we attended the service at this morning was bombed. And whoever bombed it knew exactly what they were doing. That mosque was burned to the ground. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that he was going to buy the burned out hulk. Because no one is going to drive us yes. from that corner. Mm. Right. He bought it, yes. burned out. Mm -hmm. And we, the FOI, mm. sold newspapers. Mm. Right. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, through the sale of the newspapers and the effort of the FOI, sent money. Mm. And we built that building mm. right. back. From the ground up, Yusuf Shah and myself, the help of Allah, were the driving force behind that. It grieved me to see my brother working for a man as great as Don King is. I don't believe that he was worthy to carry the shoes that Yusuf Shah walked in when he first came to the mosque in Detroit. It's not that Don King isn't a great man because he is. Yes, sir. 
It's not that Don King hasn't done great things because he has. But the greatest thing that a man can do is to be a part of a work that transforms the life of human beings. And in that regard, if Don King were to pass away tomorrow, Yes, sir. He would not have the tribute right, right. that Yusuf Shah had right, today right. because all his sons yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. that were able and all of them were not there, right. but they came home yes, sir. to say farewell yes, sir. Right. to the man yes, sir. who helped to make us all Muslims. Yes, sir. I shall never forget Yusuf Shah as long as I live. I shall carry his memory to my grave. But if I am alive and I am blessed to be successful in this mission, his name along with the name of Lieutenant Clarence Hussein Shabazz along with those brothers who worked to make Islam great in New York their names will not be forgotten because all of us who are new and we thank Allah for you because the honorable Elijah Muhammad told us when we were in the mosque that his best followers was still out there in the street. So all of us who were there were working to prepare the way for those who were yet to come. But I told all of those who were with me, yes, sir. When you see Yusuf Shah, yes, sir. You honor and respect yes, him. Yeah, Did yeah, I tell you on yes, that? Yeah, Wherever you see him, yes, sir. Whatever he needs, if you have it, give it to him. Yes, right. Sir. That's right. Because if it were not for him, yes, sir. you couldn't be here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If it were not for the old Muslims, yes, sir. Yes, sir. that's right. Yes, sir. Some of them sitting here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And here. They paid the price yes, sir. That's right. for the new ones yes, sir. to be able to walk into a mosque yes, sir. and say assalamu alaikum. Yes, right. Assalamu alaikum mean peace. But in order to say that greeting, many men died and went to prison. Yes, sir. See, I remember you, Brother Ramza. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Walter, he and I came in the mosque the same night together. Yes, sir. That brother. With his faith in Almighty God, Allah, he would buy police at one time by himself. The one thing we did right has paid for all that we did wrong. Right. Right. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are the foundational stones. Yes, sir. Everybody in here didn't always agree with Yusuf Shah, neither did I. We had our falling outs. But I love him. Yes, sir. And I loved him then in the fallout. Yes, sir. Whether he loved me or not, that was between him and his heart. But I loved him because he taught me, he shaped me, he molded me, he helped to save me. And as long as he loved the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and worked for that man, it didn't matter what he thought about me. And it really didn't matter what nobody thought about me as long as you thought well of him. Yes, sir. That's right. right. Oh, listen. That's right. Listen. Yes, sir. Times have changed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.